Justin Trudeau's internet censorship law, as Bill C-11 has been dubbed by detractors, still very much a concern. It's currently in the Senate right now, where it's going through committee hearings in the Senate, a sign that it's getting closer towards being legislation, inching its way towards the final part, when legislation gets rolled assent, when it becomes law. And a lot of people still very concerned about what's going on in this law, things that they think need to be removed from the legislation. Now, I was walking through downtown Toronto's Union Station, major transportation hub, many thousands of people passing by it every day, and YouTube has taken out these really large video ads saying, watch out, folks, C11 is going to mess with your YouTube, mess with people's content. You go, wow, that's quite something if a tech giant is making a, a fight like this against this legislation. And they're not the only ones, by the way, other tech giants saying, we got a problem here with this bill. But it's not just big corporations who have a problem with it. You have individual YouTubers and content creators who have been speaking out. Some have actually been appearing before the Senate committee recently. The other week, you had J.J. McCullough talking about his concerns with it. Wyatt Sharp, he is a, a young boy who actually has his own uh, political commentary videos. He's based in Ontario. He made an appearance before the Senate. Uh, you had more recently uh, people such as Jennifer Valentine, who's a, a very popular morning show host over the years in Toronto, speaking about it. A guy who goes by the name Brittle Star. He was talking about his concerns with it. And I think uh, actually Jennifer Valentine made a very interesting point about messing with the algorithm. So one thing that C11 can do is actually empower the CRTC, a government agency, to kind of direct YouTube's algorithms or other social media platforms' algorithms about what you get encouraged to see and what you're discouraged from seeing. Now, nominally, it's in the name of promoting Canadian content, and some of these content creators are worried that they won't be deemed the acceptable Canadian content. It will be pushed in other directions. But you've also got to wonder, even if you approved of the content they were pushing, do you, do you want to set a precedent where the government is able to mess with an online algorithm for social media platform. That is really an alarming thing. Now, Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez, he kind of tried to deny that this was a thing that the legislation empowered them to do. But hold on a second, you've got CRTC Chair Ian Scott actually turning around and basically acknowledging upon further questioning that, well, yeah, it will sort of kind of be a thing that can happen. So really worrisome issues. Bill C-11 still very much in play, still very much a big concern and a lot of people saying you got to just take so much out of this legislation we've still got to press pause on it